All right, as I mentioned earlier, I was going to have on Congressman David McKinley, and the congressman joins me now. Congressman, thanks for being on the show. Where exactly did you go, and what did you see? We went to McCallum, Texas. Uh, that's, that's near Brownville, uh, which is the southernmost tip of uh, Texas. Uh, but quite frankly, most people ought to really uh, – McCallum, Texas, metropolitan, is 1.5 million people. Wow. On the, on, okay. the, on the Mexican border, another million. So you're talking a huge metropolitan area down there. That It's one of the centers of immigration. And did you get a tour of detention facilities, just the border itself? Well, I mean, kind of, kind of. What did you see? It did all of the above. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, I, rather than listening to other people tell us about uh, what the circumstances are, we want to go down and physically see it. So we, we went to see where the children uh, at the, the emergency re- uh, shelters are. I visited those. I talked with the border guards. We went into the right to the border. Went along where the wall uh, could be. Because there's a section, there are, there are enormous sections. There are no walls there. Uh, but listen, the, the the big thing there are two big things I learned when I was down there that I want to talk when I get sure. back to Washington tomorrow. Uh, one is uh, the the principal thing is that for years our border agents, our patrol, they their responsibility is to see that the uh, the sex trafficking, the drugs. The immigration, uh, uh, they had control over our border, and that's all they, they could they could focus on that. But starting around 2013, 12, 13, 14, right in that era, um, they became it, a humanitarian problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people started crossing the border, and, and that's, that became their responsibility. So for years, though, they, they were in charge of security. Now they had to take on a humanitarian issue. Right. And it really, it really peaked badly. Last year, we had over a million people apprehended uh, coming across the border. A million people coming across. That's just the ones we could catch. Now, that's, that's, that's one of the big things I learned. The second, the second thing, which was huge, was that the cartel, the Mexican cartel, controls the border from the Mexican side. I heard that from every person we talked to. And as a matter of fact, I interviewed uh, – Four people that it could just come across had just been arrested in the field. They were just brought in for questioning. Uh, they were they are, they're charged anywhere from three, four, five thousand, but in this case, there was nine thousand dollars. The cartel charged these Mexicans. Or the, uh, the, the, these particular ones were from Honduras and El Salvador. Nine thousand dollars to cross the border, and and if you're Chinese. We interviewed one in the Chinese that was mm-hmm. going through processing. Sixty thousand dollars he was charged by the cartel to get him across the border. Wow! Yeah, and and obviously he got across, but he was arrested. He's going to be returned. So now he has to start out with sixty thousand dollars one more time to try to get across. So you didn't see you didn't you didn't see any kids in cages. You didn't see anybody drinking out of a toilet. You didn't see all this other stuff that's been bannered around by some of the Democrats out there. No, of course not, and that's that. It's pretty frustrating to the to the border guards uh, uh, when they know they're being treated this way, mis- misrepresented. Mm-hmm. And the, but the thing is, they understand you can't have you can't you're not allowed to have cameras in there, things like that. So right. they know that when people go in there and do this, uh, they know what they're seeing, and then they go out and they represent whatever they wanted to represent. It, it's really bad. It's it's a processing facility. Uh, just the sheer number of people. They just this group around uh, McAllen arrested. There were three, almost four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand were arrested coming across there, and they know, they know that they missed about forty-seven thousand more that got in. And the reason they know that, because I thought wasn't from an engineering perspective. How do you know exactly how many people you missed? Because they've got satellite surveillance. They have drones. They know they they know the count of people that are coming across the border. And, and so if they arrested 400,000 and they saw 447,000, they knew 47,000 mm-hmm. invaded. And and they don't catch all of them. They know that there are some that are missed in their surveillance process. So there are at least 47, 50, maybe 100,000 people have come across the border at McCallum and are now in the interse- intersections of this country. Talking to Congressman David McKinley right now, Republican, West Virginia's 1st District. Congressman, we've got to, we've got about two minutes left. Um what is the one thing that you're taking away the most and you're taking with you to Washington to uh, try to implore upon other individuals who okay. have not made this visit? I, I think the best thing we can do is, is 
is there's a the court decision that was made several years ago, back in 93, uh, that, that called for uh, you have to release uh, uh, you, you release children, and that, that's mm-hmm. understandable. You you don't want to, no one wants to hold the children, uh, but then the the court modified that, or someone modified this in the in the judicial system and modified it so that not just unaccompanied children, but all children. So now what's happening? The smugglers and the cartel are bringing family uh, people across with children that are not theirs so that they come across the border with right. this child and under the modified Flores decision, they have to be released. So these these uh, criminal elements, whomever they may be, if they can just sit on their hands for 20 days, they're going to be released into the into the, uh, uh, the section of right. Texas and disappear. So we've got we've got to modify that 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 law needs to be corrected and cleaned up so that uh, people can be identified. They have to be adjudicated faster and find out whether or not these really are their parents. All right. Well, Congressman, thank you so much for, for coming on the show and spreading the word and taking the time to go down there and see firsthand for yourself. It was it was worth it, and thank you for being on the show. Talk to you again. Thank you. Thank you.